Hi, I'm Louis Gomes and I'm the Fire Hall Chef. Each and every week I'll be coming to you from a new city or town, profiling that city and town and the fire department that serves their community. I'll also be showing you how to cook a quick, easy and nutritious meal that's good enough to satisfy the hunger of these firefighters so I know it'll be good enough to satisfy yours. Today we're coming to you from beautiful Cambridge, Ontario. Welcome to Cambridge, Ontario. The historical city of Cambridge was formed in 1973 with the amalgamation of the three communities of Galt, Preston and Hespler. Cambridge has many beautiful heritage homes, factories, mills, arenas, and its own theatre. The church steeples fill the Cambridge skyline. Cambridge is so picturesque that Hollywood frequently films movies and TV shows in Cambridge. Cambridge also has many stunning rivers and streams running through its beautiful landscape such as the Speed River and the historical Grand River. Night or day, spring, summer, fall or winter, Cambridge is a nature lover's paradise. The Cambridge Fire Department was also created with the amalgamation of the Galt, Preston and Hesper Fire Departments. The CFD has a very strong community presence and actively participates in many public education events. The CFD is very well trained and equipped in water and ice rescue, confined space rescue, hazardous materials response, first aid, auto extrication, specialized rescue, and of course firefighting. The men and women of the Cambridge Fire Department are always there for their community. Welcome to the Cambridge Fire Department. Cambridge Fire Department serves a community of 130,000 people with five fire stations. Today we're coming to you from Cambridge Fire Department headquarters at 1625 Bishop Street North. Let's go inside and see if the boys will fire up the kitchen for us. The nice thing about fire halls is they always have an open door policy to the public. Well, thanks for letting us into the fire hall, Henry. Uh, where right now in the fire hall are we? You're in the administrative offices right now, and I'll get you to come with me. I'll show you the dispatch center. Sounds great. Okay. Thanks, Henry. Okay. So here we are on the apparatus floor. We're back with Henry again, and Henry's going to tell us a little bit about the lead truck that actually comes out of headquarters. So that's the one that'll be servicing uh, everyone in this local community of headquarters. So Henry, tell us a little bit about the truck. The truck uh, here is uh, what we call an aerial truck. It's uh, used for if we have to rescue somebody from a building, we got to apply water from a uh, higher elevation and it's also uh, it's used as a water supply too. That's uh, when we are trying to fight a fire. We take this truck also when we have medical calls, uh, auto extrications comes, uh, goes to those calls. So that's what we nice. use the truck for. So if you got a medical call, what kind of equipment are you going to pull off this truck and take with you? On if that we call? had a medical call, we will take the uh, O2 which uh, helps supply oxygen to the patient. Right. And also we take the defibrillator from there, uh, which helps uh, when there's chaotic uh, electrical activity in the heart, it mm -hmm. helps stop that chaotic uh, activity and allow the heart to restart itself in a normal chaotic, in a normal electrical activity. Good. Anyway, thanks Henry. Okay. And uh, maybe welcome. we'll take a uh, look around and see some of that equipment. Okay, okay. sounds good. All okay. right, super. Okay. Welcome to the kitchen here at uh, Cambridge Fire Headquarters. We're here with the Fire Hall Chef, uh, Justin Whalen. And uh, Justin, what are you cooking up for us today? Uh, today, Louie, we're gonna make an Irish stew, Fire Hall style. Sounds good. All right. Has the boys had it, had it before here at uh, Station One? Uh, not yet, but we'll see if they like it today. So. In for a good treat, I'm sure. Yeah. All right, All time right. to get started. So, first thing we're gonna do is uh, prepare our meat. Um, brought in some uh, stewing beef here. Figured that, uh, High energy, high energy job equals a uh, high energy meal. Sounds good. So we're gonna add some uh, olive oil to that, about a tablespoon. And uh, the best thing about this uh, meal, Louis, is that uh, it's quick and easy, and 
you don't have to really have any measurements. So nice. That looks like it's really nutritious too, right? Lots of protein. A lot of protein, right? Like I said, high energy. Super. Right. Um, if I can get you to help me out, yep. get you to season the flour. Okay. Put some uh, about, about uh, half a, ta uh, a teaspoon of salt in there. I'll measure it the same way you did there the you oil. And a pinch of some cayenne pepper. All right. And we're gonna season that to taste with some pepper. All Sounds right. good. So I just want to mix this up. It gets uh, the olive oil kind of incorporated through all the beef here. All right. And uh, you want it to be room temperature, right? That's the best way to cook uh, beef. All right. So we're just gonna get a little quick little stir there. And uh, we're gonna add the flour to the beef. Okay. And that kind of thickens it up when it's cooking in the oven. So let's give nice. that a little quick mix here. All right. All right. So while this is all mixed up, we're just gonna let that sit. And I'm gonna wash my hands. We're gonna start preparing the, the veggies. Hi, I'm Jason Sukert, a firefighter with the Cambridge Fire Department, and I'm here with today's Fitness Minute. Today we're going to be doing an exercise which is called the plank, which involves the muscles of your abdomen, your lower back, and your glutes, as well as I'm going to be throwing something extra in, which will be working on your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. So you'll be going down on the hard floor, so if you have a mat or something soft that you can lay on, it will be perfect. So you're going to start off in the push-up position, with your back nice and straight, your hands roughly shoulder width apart. You're going to hold yourself up in the air and slowly lower yourself down onto your forearms. Now, keeping your back straight and level to the ground, you're going to tighten up your stomach as well as your lower back and your abs. And you're going to hold that for roughly 30 seconds. So once you've held that for 30 seconds, you're going to slowly raise yourself back up again into that push-up position, keeping the same form, keeping nice and tight. You're going to lower yourself down, or you can do as many push-ups as possible. And then you're going to slowly lower yourself back down into that plank position again and holding that. Once you've held this for 30 seconds, you can repeat the exercise as many times as possible or until fatigue. And after that, slowly lowering yourself back up to the ground. And that's all it takes. And that's today's Fitness Minute.